to be here once again with chef and caterer Hugh Groman talking about back to school as we're heading into those days. You're helping us make that transition from the wild west of the summer into a nice healthy school year. And first let's start about the fact that it really depends on how that lunch is packaged for the little one, isn't it? Sure, sure. There's so many cool products available, so you should definitely let your child have a hand in picking their lunchbox or maybe a couple choices. Uh, you can pick one if you want. Mm -hmm. But this one's mine. That one's yours. Okay, I don't want the skull. If you have a Hot Wheels one, I'll take it. And you um, okay. And it is sort of part of the ritual for so many families. Started a new school year, new backpack, new lunchbox, and if they eat the healthy food inside, that's great. Absolutely. Talk to me about some of the choices you have up here. This goes way beyond the you know bologna sandwich and little bag of chips. I think a yeah. lot of us grew up with. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 working with things that I think kids will like. Obviously, every kid is different, right. and you really have to know what your kid eats. Even and in eat. a family, because I have two, and of right. course, one likes this, the other likes. That. Yeah, it's 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 hard work. I think it's exhausting. I think uh, most mothers get to a point in their life at a certain point they're like, okay, no more cooking. I'm done right. because they it's so much work trying to make everyone happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but uh, you know, we're trying to give some kids something that's healthy, mm -hmm. but they will also eat. Okay. And everybody um, has a different idea of what's healthy. Right. But for me, it's about uh, fresh homemade food okay. and avoiding the white flour and the sugar if you can, because okay. uh, those are going to spike their blood sugar and make them. It's harder for them to concentrate. So I'm going for whole grains, protein, a little fat, no problem. I see a lot of bars on the schoolyard. A right. lot of you know the child, like the child's Cliff bars, the child Kind bars. I don't see anything packaged or processed. Yeah, here. yeah. I'm not. I mean, I love those things sometimes, but they, there is a good amount of sugar in those. Yeah. So maybe good know. in a pinch, but not on an exactly. everyday basis. Help me out with recipes okay. here, and let's start with something that I've actually never made: ranch dressing. Yeah. For a lot of us, it comes out of a bottle, but it doesn't have to. Yeah, I, the bottled stuff always has a little bit of an off flavor to me. We, we make our own homemade ranch in our catering company. Let's do and it. And it's so easy. Just mayonnaise. Okay. This is the full fat mayonnaise. Yeah, the, yeah. Got it? Yeah, I don't mess around with uh, reduced fat things. Okay. Um, that's just my preference. Okay. Uh, buttermilk. Okay. And then fresh herbs. Don't okay. let your kids see you putting green things into this. Once they're covered in mayonnaise and sour cream, uh, or yep, excuse me, mayonnaise and uh, buttermilk, they won't. They won't care because it's, it's I'm gonna, ranch. I'm going to have Elsa take a nap here so we can see what you're doing. If okay. that's, I promise and I'll give it back to you, Hugh. Okay, thanks. And then there's just a little bit of garlic, okay. uh, parsley, scallions, chives, and and uh, I always put a little salt and pepper in everything. If you lose a little salt and pepper in things, your kids are going to like them more. Right, season appropriately. Yeah. There's not a drop of sugar in what you're making. No. And I know the bottled no. recipes do tend to have a lot of sugar no. in there. No. So, so you just stir this up. It's easy. You can do it over the weekend and it'll last at least a week. Okay. And then you put it in uh, a fun little container with the baby carrots. And, and then they chances eat the are, whole mountain of carrots. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time eating the uh, ranch without the carrots. Right, so it's right. kind of a trick. Okay, I see. Uh, before we move on to your next recipe, I just want to share, this has been our best friend at home. If they like dinner, you warm it up the next morning, you put it in here, and they will eat it, and it stays hot. Yeah. Repurposing leftovers has been big for us, and that's part of what you're doing here with this next recipe. Absolutely, yeah. So this is uh, just uh, diced up chicken. You can buy a rotisserie chicken if you're rushed, or maybe you roasted a chicken for dinner. You can, If there's any leftover, cut up the chicken. And once again, just some mayonnaise. You know, can I can I be greedy and ask you to move straight on to the shake because I've Absolutely. never used a Vitamix and I'm trembling that Absolutely. I have one in front of me. And just um, so you know, onions, celery, that's it. Salt and pepper, super easy. This is a healthy shake that does not involve ice cream or root beer. Talk to me about this how you make awesome. this. This is awesome. It's uh, frozen bananas. I have this all the time as a special treat because I'm trying to cut back sugar. Okay. Um, and then if you don't, if your bananas aren't frozen enough, you can just throw in some ice. Okay. And then unsweetened cocoa. Okay. And then how much peanut butter? A nice dollar. Okay. Oh. And then uh, here you go. You do well, that. I want to hit the button. Don't you do it. Okay. You get to do it. Okay. Let me put the lid on oh, first. Watch your sleeve. Okay. So exciting. I know. And this is so good. And then you can put it in. Here you go. Okay. This is the Vitamix, which this is, is my, super powerful. My first Vitamix moment. Okay. You just hit the button Actually, down. Actually, this you just turn this. There you go. Yeah. Three, down. Don't wreck my dress. One. And then I'm gonna turn it way up. Uh, it's so easy. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, I love it. And uh, what you can do is you can take a thermos, you can put this in the freezer in advance. Oh, good. Um, if you want, you can throw a few extra ice cubes in, and you can send this off to school. Okay. And uh, for them it's to like, have at lunch, or there's no shame in popping this in a cup and having them drink it as you drive them to school. Sure, if that's what it can you be do. breakfast. <gasps> it didn't get all blended. An Elsa thermos but, um, for your Elsa little here, lunch you box. Taste it? I think so, I will. And what's great about this is it's, mm. it's milk, bananas, peanut butter, unsweetened cocoa. No sugar. So it's, there's no sugar. It's got a lot of nutrition, but it tastes like dessert. It tastes so good. I've popped up all the recipes for you over on KTV.com. When you get there, click the Mornings on 2 tab. Hugh Groman, thank you. Vitamix, I love you. We'll be right back.